I'll just record it onto the computer. Cool. That's good to go. So yeah, I just added myself to your page for just the purpose of this training. Uh, so you part of, yeah, you've got the girls and the boys. I just added myself to the girls for um, this part because yeah, they're fairly similar in terms of the workflows we'll show. So, you know, like you send these games to assist. So if we work from the assist side of things, I'm not sure. Have you had a play around with cutting up the clips and creating a playlist? Has this been something you've done in the past or? No, I think the students right now, they haven't really done up any playlist per se. Um, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure, that's, no, that's fine, yeah. Um, so one thing I'll say a good benefit of this is just the ability or the main purpose of this aspect of Haru is that you can see highlight key plays um, you can put it into this playlist to cut up your clips. You put it into a playlist, which I'll showcase. And then from there, you can add a few drawings. And the benefit of the drawings is that uh, for especially youth athletes, I think it captivates them a lot. So for example, um, prior to joining Huddle in my roles within our support um, team is that I worked with Tennis New Zealand for two years and worked with their youth athletes there uh, predominantly. And what I used to do is I'll like tag the tennis matches and then I'd cut it up and find key avenues with the coaches. And then I'd add a few illustrations and drawings. And even when I was doing that process, they would be very excited. They want to look, they want to watch. Um, so I think, yeah, the benefit of these avenue of adding the clips and the tools here is that hopefully players themselves can cut it up themselves. You, if you've got the time, you can also highlight key avenues and share it in a playlist. And it becomes quite impactful where if you play a match on a certain day, and then maybe a few days later, you do a review session uh, yeah. or you just post the clips on Huddle. Then the players, they can even access it on their phone. So if they have the Huddle app. They can actually review certain avenues of the video. So rather than watching the full 47 minutes, you might just cut up a playlist of five or six good things and then they can watch it back. So, so that's definitely a good, good avenue to look down the route of. So what I will show you is this aspect here. I'll just let you finish on your. All good? Yeah, all good. Yeah, Sorry. cool. No worries. No, nah, don't worry. Don't problem. Um, so here, if you look, I can select like your team. Yep. And then I can go down here and then look at, let's say you wanted to look at all your three makes. So see, you've got two clips here, right? So you can now watch this back. Yeah. And then you just hit the, let it run till the end. And then you can hit next and it'll go to the next one here. Yep. So the benefit of this now is you can go add to your clips, right? And now it's here. It's in yep. this area where it's only you can access these. So now I can then go click on it. And then you are in this uh, area here where you can increase or decrease the length of the video if you wish. So sometimes coaches, they get to the end and then they think it's stuck. You can just hit the minus key and then you can extend or reduce it as well. But usually, as you know here, eight seconds, that's probably good enough. What you might do is you might want to add a bit more to the start. So you could just drag it out a bit more so you can sort of see the full play. Then let's say you're wanting to look at a, like here, you wanted to highlight the space. You could go here and say nice spacing. Yeah. And then you can hit save. What this does is now it adds a comment and it'll pause. So your player can now watch and look and say, okay, um, coach is gone and said, okay, there's nice spacing. That's great. And they can even reply to you like from here and then it continue to play. So that's one way you can do it. That's good. What I always recommend, if you've got the time, what you can do is you just do the same thing, nice spacing, and then hit the squiggly line here. And then this, you've got drawing tools unlocked, circle, arrow, and free hand. Now, you can highlight this player and you can see it just adds a bit more to the presentation. So you can do that and you can go and use the freehand tool. 
and hit save. And now you can see it's going to do the same thing. It'll pause, nice spacing. And then you've got your drawing here continues to play. And then you just, you're happy with the clip, you hit save. That's one clip created. Then you could go to the next one, find something you like. There's one point I'll make here is that you see, if I was to just add a drawing, and hit save. You see, just say Joshua added a drawing. So this is okay. I've seen some coaches do it, but you know, there's not much context behind why I added the drawing, right? And you can also do it from a player perspective where what I potentially would recommend is that you could get your players and maybe it's like a little homework task for a few of them. Find three good clips, find three bad clips, uh, in terms of performance and then create a playlist, add drawings and share it. And hopefully from an education point of view, that might actually assist them. Uh, so when I say a player, if they added this drawing and just said added drawing, it doesn't really give me context. So what I would recommend you say, okay, good technique. So you add your comment, don't hit save, hit the squiggly line, highlight the pass and the catch, whoops and then hit save. And you can see now that's saved it here. So now I've got two clips. This one here, and this one here. Yep. And then all you do now, or what a player could do, is they could go share and playlist, and then they can hit this X here, and then they can say, uh, my review. And then there's a few things around sharing permissions. So, before I go into this, I just want to say, is there any, what are your initial thoughts on this? Um, cutting clips and do you feel like it's something that could be beneficial? Um, and do you have any questions on so far what I've done on this? Yeah, I think it, it's it's good to uh, pinpoint, especially the instances in the game, mm. uh, not just from the coaches or teacher's perspective, but also yeah. from the players. Yeah. Uh, and then they can share it with the team as well. Um, that gives a lot more meat, I guess, uh, to what is being said and all. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel this is just another um, area that you can use huddle, you know? So from your side, you've got the clips being cut, um, tagged in the sense of full match and you're getting some stats and all. Um, I feel like, yeah, this could be another, maybe in the near future, if you can sort of see how the buy-in, currently, how do you feel the buy-in from the players are? I mean, if I go into the your viewing time you looked before, is it you fairly happy with it? Um, it varies. So I, I okay. think for the boys, they really love this. Um, yeah. So I see a lot of them really accessing it uh, in the past. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the girls, it's uh depends on on the team. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, uh, I think generally, at least they would definitely, because I, I used to just post the videos on YouTube for them to watch. Okay. But this just gives them more uh, added dimensions uh, when they come to viewing their sure. videos and all. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and I think it's quite quite powerful in the sense that if a player now, right, I could be a certain player. So let me delete this one. Oh, I shouldn't actually delete it, but never mind. Um, I will go you into undo. here. You can um, undo. Go in, can undo yeah, yeah. Oh, right. yeah, they undo, yeah. For this bit, yeah. 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 Ah, you told me something. Um, so if I am, let's say, number seven, you see, like, easily now she can watch all the clips. Yep. And then she can just go here, everything relevant to him, her, and then just go next. And there's a little tip here for you. If you are reviewing and then you see, like, there's a lot of clips here, you can, uh, of course, use your filters. So I could go here and maybe look at all the um, shots that Kayla took place rather than, you know how before I went and send them like automatically, I go and say, add to your clips and it's going to send all the 22 clips, right? To yeah. this area here. That's not that great because then you might have to, some clips you might not like, right? And you might want to delete those. Um, yep. So what you would do is say, I went and did this. Then I would have to go watch each individual one and say, okay, yeah, I don't really like this one. Then I would go select, delete. It becomes quite a long-winded process, right? And then if you had to select all of them, it'll take a while. So yeah. what I would recommend is what you can do 
is a feature called, and these are more of the enhanced, hopefully, tools to just assist your uh, workflows, is that if you want to watch, you filter, find exactly what you're wanting to look at. And now, okay, I want to tag this. I want this to be in a playlist. You can yep. two finger click, right click, and then go clip the tag. So if you go clip the tag, see it's sent it to my clips. Okay. And now all you do is you just watch video, you hit next if there's something you don't like. So I keep hitting next. Then yes, this is a clip I want to now put in a playlist for this athlete. Clip the tag. It's gone there. Then I just skip okay. to the next one. Watch it. And I can hit the space bar that pauses it. Clip the tag. And yep. then hit to the next. So I feel like, yeah, that hopefully can assist in terms of making it easier. So maybe what you want to do is you just want to do team review. Uh, you could just, yeah, choose the team um, so that your team choose what you want to look at and then just clip the tag and then build your playlist from here. So, yeah, there's some potential there. What do you think? Do you feel like you have the capacity to do this or would you put it more on the players? Um, I, I guess it's possible. Uh, mm. especially for key games, probably not for every game. Yeah. Uh, but for key games, if we want to do it, uh, this is something that's possible. Yeah, we'll because I feel like yeah. Are you go? Sorry. Yeah, it's possible to work it in. Yeah. Mm. Um, I guess a good benefit is that yeah, you might get some enhanced player viewing times because for them, rather than having to look and filter and watch, they are gonna get something like this. So I'm gonna go onto my demo page just to show you an example is uh, if we look at, let's say, I'm just going to click on this one, good chances. So you can see you've got the clip there. It's going to pause, highlights, got my comment. And then this is what they would watch. And they could watch this on their phone. They can watch these clips on their phone. So rather than looking at the full game, they're going to go and click on a playlist like key shots, and then they can watch it back. Good release. They can refer to it. So you can see here when you publish the playlist, there's little white marks on the timeline that identifies where the video will pause. And then you can see here, it's going to scroll and it'll say a yeah, nice pass continues. And like here, you can see there's a reply. So a pl let's say you type this comment, a player can actually reply and they can say, yeah, that's right. And then they can say, so you can get some integra integration or interactions between coach, teacher, players all together on a platform. So um, it becomes, yeah, fairly powerful in that sense. And I just want to touch base on the sharing side. So like we saw before, I went and cut up some clips. So let me just say, and you know, you don't have to necessarily, I know I noticed some of the games you don't get tagged by huddle. Um, so what you could do is if you were just working off raw video, you just have to use this tool here. So you can see, I wanna cut up a clip. I'll just go create clip and see it creates the default seven second clip here. Then you just do your same process. You can increase, decrease the length, find where you wanna add your comment type it in, save. So you can even just do it on raw video. Um, yep. You don't have to use the huddle assist filters. And let's say I have, I'm just gonna add a few more clips just for the purpose of this. So yep, I've got four clips here. So I can go share and playlist, right? And then mm -hmm. I can just type what my review, review session versus team B. And I'll just walk you through what this does. So currently you're an admin on the page. So that means you will access any content that's uploaded to Huddle uh, or uploaded or also cut up in any playlists that are published on your page. Uh, so that's fine. You have access to everything. In this case, if I uh, say you're the coach and you're wanting to publish this playlist, they'd go all team can contribute. So this means that everyone on my page can watch it. If I go only coaches this means everyone in my coaching group only they can yep. access the video uh, and then if i go here and choose particular people so let's say i only wanted to share it with the athlete called sean king 
I can say, hey, Sean, please review. And Sean will actually get a notification. And if he had the Huddle app, he will get a yeah ping on his phone and it'll ask him to just go look on the phone and he can watch your playlist straight away. So I think that's how powerful it can get. Um, yep. And there might be just certain athletes you work with who are very interested in this. And you probably know the certain ones who are very interested. And maybe those are the ones you spend a lot of time on this or on the reverse for the ones who aren't, mm. maybe you introduce this. So it's just, yeah, yep. I've seen some teams, they really zone in on the four or five athletes who are really making use of huddle. And then they just keep using it as a tool to enhance. And for the other athletes, they'll just have the video which is tagged and then they can filter through and watch if they're interested. And then for the key ones, they would then spend a lot more time on this side of things. So mm. once I go here and let's say I just X out and click save, so if I left this all as no access, that's fine. Only my team admins will see it. If I said can contribute, you see how this is red? That's fine because all athletes and coaches fall under your whole team. So you're fine okay. if you leave it. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to go no access. And then you can see it's published. So I can go view now. And then like before I showed you, that's the playlist there. Okay. So that's how you can publish it. So you can see fairly easy. Uh, I know you said for key key games, you might want to build playlists. So yeah. what I would recommend is that you can go onto your page, right? Let me find it. And then you see you've got all your events here. Yeah. So let's say out of these teams, which one would be a key one that you would try and do analysis on? Um... Probably the last one, I guess. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this game, yeah, it's fine, not tagged. And you actually, in all honesty, um, is there a reason why some of the games you didn't want to tag? Or Okay, I didn't tag it because uh, the players, they were wearing uh, different jerseys. So the jersey oh, okay. numbers were kind of like, oh, mixed up. And I thought, yeah, oh, yeah. no, I don't want to go through no, the trouble of yeah. having to deconflict it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, makes sense, makes sense. Because I, want, I saw yeah. you had unlimited huddle assist so i thought you might as well yeah. tag all the games <laughs> um, but yeah okay that makes sense yeah because you, you can go you know in a case where it did become like this you can go and write on the notes when you submit yes. and you can say but like you said sometimes maybe it's a bit can get a bit messy so yeah easier just to keep it standard so that's fine um but yeah in this case what i want to show you is you would create your clips right um and then you can share it on your page then what you can do is if you remember, if I go into here, you see I got this this one published. So I said yep. review session versus team B. Then I might get another video of theirs, which has been tagged. And then let's say I just work with this one. So we know it's diff obviously different match. Then I can go into here. I go create a few more clips. I use my huddle assist data and I filter. And then I can go share and playlist. And this is how potentially the benefits of this is that if you have multiple coaches that are working alongside you, um, they might cut up some key clips. You might cut up some key clips from the last two quarters and they might do the first two quarters. Then yep. rather than you having to create a separate playlist, you can actually X and hit the drop down here. And then yep. you see, this is the one I just selected. So let's say uh, one of your colleagues, they cut up the first, a half and then you wanted to cut up the second half now you can just add it to this uh, and now you see under the same playlist from i think there must have been five clips of i don't know how many there were before but you can see you've got the one here yep and then you've got two three four and then you've got these ones that i just added so okay. yeah, that's uh, another workflow that potentially can help around the playlist. But I'll just say, yeah, have a go mm -hmm. with it. Um, how long are you wrapping up now for the? I assume you're wrapping up for the year, or? Yeah, so wrapping up for the year. Uh, in fact, the players and coaches are taking a break. Um, mm. then we will resume after Christmas. Okay. Nice. Um. Yeah. So once we resume, we have a early tournament in January. Uh, so that'll be a good time where you can capture the data and again. Yeah. Yeah, matches and all. Mm. Nice, nice. Uh, so is this competition like school competitions? You play all the other schools in the region or? 
Yeah. Um, so the tournament that we're having in January, we'll be playing with the local schools as well as the international schools. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I, I saw on your huddle database, some of the international schools are on the, I don't know, on yes. the list as well, right? Yeah. So like when you, I think when you go and schedule a match, then you can see yeah. who is. Um, so yeah. like one, for example, I can tell you is the Dalwich. Dalwich, right? They yeah. Are, they are on huddle. Um, and I think there's a new, new one signed up with us recently. Singapore American School. Ah, Singapore American School. Okay, that's good. They yeah. go on so board. I mean, it's really powerful. You know, actually... If we are thinking long term, and this is something I, I'm not sure if um, anyone has discussed about this for you, is we have this called the league exchange. I'm not sure if you've heard of the league exchange before, um, no. but w- what it is, and again, I'm not sure if it's very valuable for from the school side. I think it potentially is, but I'll talk to you more from a, a perspective of how some teams use it here in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. is that they can go under exchanges and leagues and also Australia more predominantly. Um, and they see you can choose the league, NBL. Oh, that's nice. Yep. And then let's say you play in a competition with all the schools, so Singapore American School, Dalwich, and a few others. Yep. What can happen is that all the video, like you are responsible for uploading the video to Huddle yep. um, as the admin of the page and also Dalwich will do it and so will the other schools. And then it will get automatically tagged by like our team. And then you mm. could go and then find, oh, let's say this was Dalwich. You could find their match that they played against Singapore American School. And then you can like add it to your library. And then you can sort of do a review session on them. I'm not sure for youth wow. athletes if it's maybe too <laughs> full on. I think <laughs> yeah. potentially it is. Um, but just something of your interest um, in the just for, for you to know it exists. I, I think pot- yeah, yeah. potentially it is probably can open up a lot of things that don't, shouldn't be exposed for youth athletes, but mm-hmm. it came here. This is how some of the elite teams look at, but what I'd say is it's awesome that you guys provide the athletes a play or the students a platform for using huddle now, because it's only going to pay uh, yeah, for their potential in the future. If they're wanting to go overseas and play basketball and all, it's awesome that they get the opportunity to review their video and, I wish I had it when I was playing tennis because yep. when I played, I had nothing. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. your coach just tells you stuff, which is good. Yep. But yep. Um, I think video is very powerful, especially for the age of athletes we have now. Um, yeah. Yeah. So well, that's cool. I, I thought I'll just show you that one. But from the playlist side, I just want to move on to um, the reports. Have you spent much time looking through the reports and your thoughts on it? Has there been any sort of um, areas that uh, you yeah have any questions on? Uh, um, I mean, I've looked through it. I've used it, uh, especially when, I guess not so much game on game, but um, at the end of the season, when I mm. analyze how the performance of the players or the team yeah. has gone. Um, I think it's been really helpful. A lot of information is there. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's a lot, yeah. And I like it is, is that there are the links already there so I can just click yeah. and go straight to the clips as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Um, yeah. So, yeah, given you've had a lot of time on it, I won't spend too much on it. Um, but like little tips you probably have already figured out is like if you wanted to look at your opposition, you just have to swap it and that's all your opposition stats now, right? Yep. Um, and then if you wanted to look at a couple of games, you can go and select those and then you go select and then you're getting like sort of averages from those games. So um, that's quite powerful. I know some teams like to use this. So if I go back to just the one game, a bit easier. Let's go to actually. Um, let's choose this one here. So if I go line up, you can sort of see which lineups are more efficient. So maybe that works more for just one game. Um, but yeah, there's little little ones here. I think these are quite good. If you've got any athletes who like numbers, um, taking screenshots of like their shot charts can be quite powerful. Yep. Looks quite nice. Yep. And like you said, interactive. Um, the box score is quite, I like this one because you get a graph of like how the scoring has gone and you're getting some stats. Um, so yeah, like you said, Again, there's a lot of info there and it's just finding, I guess, the areas that you're wanting to look at and refer to and go from there. But yeah, some some people don't even touch this. So I'm yeah, very pleased to hear that 
Um, we played around with it. So, I, I'm just wondering as well, because to the report, there were a couple of times when, let's say, the analyst is not able to identify an athlete. Um, yeah. Yeah. So sometimes I see that in that report. Identify like, unknown. Or... Yeah, unknown athlete in that line. Yeah. So yeah. even though I've tried to resolve that uh, conflict or the unknown, mm. the report still stays like that. So I can't adjust or amend it though. Okay. Um, yeah. Have you got an like, example in, let's see if I can. I think it was, let me try to pull it up. Yeah. Because yeah. usually if you identify unknowns in here, like this, see for accurate stats, please identify yeah, unknowns. So if you went and clicked identify unknowns, what yep. should happen is that once you identify them, yep. they it should cross-reference to the report, I would think. But you no. thinking it didn't? Yeah, I think though maybe one or two times that it didn't. Because when I was okay. doing my season analysis, um yeah, I could still see that the unknown athlete was still there as a line. Okay. Uh, if you can give me like the set example, then I can actually just yeah. forward it onto our team um, and then get their thoughts on it. And yeah, potentially there's something that we need to fix on our end or maybe it's just a workflow. But yeah, I was fairly confident that if you just go identify unknown and this is what you would have done and then you would just yeah. choose the it athlete. Should automated, it should, right? or it should yeah. just, they just all in sync, right? Like you would have yep. seen with the highlights how they're just pre-made. So a lot of it, um, yeah, just does it for itself. So I would, yeah. I would, um, yeah, if you can just have a look whenever you have mm. time and if you can get, give me the couple examples, then I can have a look and if I need to pass it on, I'll pass it on to my team if I can't resolve it. But um, sure. yeah, it'd be good to, good to know. Because like you said, if you can do that small little thing of identifying the unknowns, at least that effort you put on should at yep. least cross-reference to the reports. I totally agree. So um, yeah. You can email what you can actually do. Yeah, I would like you to let me know and then I can pass it on to my, we got two colleagues in Australia who yeah. predominantly work on huddle, huddle assist. I do a lot of the training side, but um, I, from a support perspective, we do a lot with sports code, which actually brings me to another no, question yeah. is that, did you um, attend the analyst academy or yeah, were you able I, to get to a few sessions? I got to at least two sessions. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. How was your experience with that? And like, did you have a play around with Sports Code and have any questions on... Because Sports Code is my cup of tea, so I can show you uh, as many things as you want. But um, how was it? Like, what were your initial thoughts? Do you think it's the, it's maybe too powerful at the moment for what you are looking at? Or um, what um, were your thoughts? I think right now, with the huddle assist is really sufficient. So mm. I don't really see that... I guess the added step of really needing to to use sports code. Uh, yeah, sure. To churn out even more data. Mm. Um, yeah. Although I know my previous, I mean my other colleague who had done, uh, who who's a rugby teacher in charge. I mean he previously nice. also did get huddle. Uh, I think sports code previously. Um, but I think in the end also I think he just went with what he had, uh, because it's yeah. just, I guess too much work. Um, yeah. especially for teacher coaches as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be able to manage everything, I mean, with a yeah. full time uh, professional club, yeah. But yeah, I think that's great. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah because with sports code, I guess it's that next level where, like you said, you can do your tagging yourself. So you might be set plays you run, and you're wanting to have that tagged. You can tag it. You can do a lot more in terms of the presentations, and you saw the drawing tools are a bit limited. It's pretty good in Huddle. I'd say adding the arrows and the lines. That's what that's good enough but in sports code you can yeah add a few extras and there we have like for the elite license um if you're going to the next level like you said with the professionals they can live capture so you yep. could do live coding um and then you can have presentation at half time you can use studio which are like 3d graphics and you know? there's all this next next things but um yep. yeah at least with the current model you have of huddle and huddle assist i think that that's good that you um, yeah, maximizing it at least. So that's great yeah. to see. Um, I mean, because the professional clubs, they have a team of analysts. So it's like analysts, hey, right, everyone yeah. just doing it live. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any experience with that in the past? It seems like you yeah, know your stuff. So prior to your role here, were you did you do much with Huddle? Or when did you first uh, sort of start playing around with this? 
think I started playing around with it about 10 years ago when I went oh, cool. for this workshop, but it was, um, I can't remember which software it was, but I think, I think it was Dartfish. Okay, uh, I understand. Yeah. yeah, because that time was organized by the Singapore Ho- Hockey Federation. Ah, so I, yeah. I think previously they did do some uh, video analysis and all. So yeah. And then after that, I tried to just do some simple one for my basketball team. So just do some manual uh, capture using an iPad. Uh, okay. Yeah, statistics and all. Then when I got to know about Huddle, uh, I think that uh, opened up another doorway uh, and gateway as well for, for, yeah. for things to be done. Yeah, yeah sure. Because I think you've got one sports code license, Game Breaker, but is that used by another coach? And I think it's another... Another... Yeah, I think it's another coach. It's the rugby one. Okay. Um. Yeah. yeah potentially, if you, I, I can try and reach out. Let me see. I just stop my share. Um. But yeah, I'm more than happy if you can put me in touch. I I can reach out and sort of see how he is going with the, um, with the game breaker license and if there's anything that he needs. Yeah. Um. Let me see who's the license under. Ah, oh, it's just a standard. It just says MacBook Pro. So, um, what's the coach's name? Um, Tan Mian Oh. Okay. When I email you with the recording and some links, maybe if you can just put through his contact details, then yeah. I can reach out um, and go from there. Because, yeah, we're more than happy to keep helping you guys. Uh, the last one before we wrap up uh, is I want to just show, I think you've been, yeah, using the pre made highlights. Would you think, are you happy with how these look? Um, would you? do your own ones? Would you be interested to know how you can do your own highlights? Are you pretty happy with these? Because I can show you how to create your own highlights. It's a bit more powerful where you can add like the team logos. You can add even sponsors if you wanted to go down that route. Um, and then of course you can share on the same as this. You can share it on your uh, Facebook pages, on the website and all. But how are the highlight side of things? Is this something that you feel is, a tool you'd want to use or have you been using it a lot or yeah, yeah I, I think it's great uh it's a great uh wouldn't really say a tool but a, a great feature uh yeah yeah i can just share on my team instagram page and oh cool and yeah. all. so how yeah, are you sharing nice. it on instagram are you taking like a screen recording or yeah screen recording <laughs> yeah nice oh you know yeah. everything good on you yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, i've been sticky cool. yeah. yeah yeah i wish there was I'm... i wish you could click a button and go share in, on instagram but I, yes. Yeah, we see somehow, I mean, thousands of teams are using this, especially in US and all, but yep. um, yeah, it seems like we haven't managed to crack the, because uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Facebook and Instagram all are linked now, right? They're yeah, all actually all linked. Yeah, same company. Uh, let me see if there's any, there must be some, we have a big database of like feature requests. So I'm sure there's mm-hmm. an Instagram one under, I'll put, um, I'll just log your name next to it also. So at least it keeps ticking up the, the list and the order sure. because if there's at least 200 300 400 coaches and teachers wanting to have integrations with yep. um, instagram it makes sense for you to just click a button and being able to but that's that's awesome to hear that you guys are um, sharing it on instagram that's um, really cool um yep. so on that is there are you pretty happy with the level that this is did were you interested like i can quickly show you how to create your own highlights if that was something that you wanted to do sure sure cool too easy so um i'm just gonna go on my basketball one again so like here you can see i got my like key shots yeah and then they publish like this in a playlist so there's two ways you can do it you can finalize your and publish it or when you like use your filter so let's say i went on here and then I went huddle basketball club. Let me delete these. And then I go and say, I want to look at all our three point makes because those will be good for highlights. And I go add to your clips. Or you go clip the tag. That could be something you do. Like the one I showed you, you go and two finger click, clip the tag, sends it. Uh, let's say you like this one, this one, and this one. You can go send to highlights. So you don't have to publish it on as a playlist. You can just go straight to highlights and then you just add it. And then they get sent to your highlights. So once it's in your highlights, this just gives you more control to predetermine the clips, the order, how it looks. 
because you know the huddle assist ones are just ai built they just look at key aspects of the game and then they um, add the music and everything um so what would happen is that those three clips that i just sent through they would come here and it'd be like just raw video so it would look something hopefully i can find one with just raw video you see it looks something like this so you would just see like raw video and you could click on it it wouldn't look like this it would look let's see if this one is but i think you get the idea yeah so you would just see the raw clips you wouldn't have any edits or drawings on it so then what you can do is if, and it takes a couple of minutes to transfer over onto your highlights but you get a notification that says highlights are ready then you just have to click edit and then i'm just going to delete all these to just show you what it looks like from the basic level is like this you just have the clips right that you sent to your highlights yep. then from here you can edit it and give it a name so you can say like our highlights and then you choose a theme so you can go here and you can see there's a lot of themes we've got like links with gatorade so some of them are gatorade inspired but yep. um, yeah you can see which ones you like um, so let's say i chose this one then you can click this plus and then you can go slides and then you can go like this and choose one or the other so let's say i chose this one then i can say round five versus team b and then if i've got like screenshots of the logo i can go under here and then let's say this is one team logo uh, Let's see if that works. I choose that, and then you choose another photo. So let's say I chose. This one. Like that, and you go add. See, you get like the logos like this. So I just, yeah, it looks a bit different. Um, and then I push this a lot for the club teams, but yeah, potentially with schools, if you've got any sort of, yeah, parties that are assisting and they are investing in sport, um, you could do something like this where you add another slide and you can say brought to you by, um, and then you can say add. And then you can even put their image, so their logo onto you go to photos, choose a photo, and then let's say the photo was let's go back into this one. That's the sponsor logo. You can go and put it in. So it looks something like, I mean, that looks a bit messy, but you'd yeah, see, um, yeah, round five, team versus team B, brought to you by sponsor logo, goes yep. to the first clip. So yeah, from here, then you just get a bit more control and you might have someone in the team who's very interested in the side of things. You could put the, um, yeah, put it on them to do it. But you can see here, all I did was if I click on this, what you get to do is you find the key point where you want to add a graphic and then you can see you've got many to choose from based on the theme. Yep. So you can get quite creative with it. Uh, and then you can also add, sorry, I'll leave it here. You can also click on text and then you can add the text. And then hit done. And then that'll play back. So each clip you just go, and then add like a graphic, add which one you want, move it around, resize it. So yeah, there's just another one maybe for, what I would recommend is potentially, you know, for end of season, like prize giving, or uh, if you're getting an awards night, yeah, you could literally go through each match, take the key plays from the whole season, put it in your own highlights package, 
um, add a few sponsors if you wanted to go down that route. Put the if you don't do that, you can of course go and add photos. And I saw you had a nice cover photo with the players. You can go and put nice images um, of the the season. Um, and then all you're doing is yeah, just click publish, and then that will publish it. And then you can either go down the route of taking a screen recording of it, um, or if they're special occasions, there are ways where we can download it remotely and send it to you also. So yeah, yeah that's, um, and then that would just be published like this. Um, it'll start processing and then you can do your same integration. So if you wanted to share, um, I've seen some people, you know, they can even embed it on the website. If you go, I think I need to go back into this one while that processes, but um, yeah, you there's a, I think there's a okay, button to embedded. embed. Yeah. Right. So if I click on this and then go share, you see embed? Oh yeah. So that's, yeah. that's cool. That's potentially yeah. a workaround for you if you wanted to put it on the school website or your yeah. Ultranet, whatever page you have. And then you've got the link where you could take this link and then you can pretty much, if this highlights isn't, um, if it's not private, I could go into another browser and see if you provide them with that. Uh, of course, it's private, but if you provide them with the link, yep. they will be able to watch it in this like little format. So they don't get access to your page. They just get access to the highlights. So, um, okay. Yeah, I'd say hopefully a few things there for you to play around with in terms of the highlights and maybe some ideas for, I know a lot of teams here, they, they love to do like an end of season highlights package. So maybe that's something yep. you you can yeah try and do and at least you have a bit more control of what's shown which videos what drawing i mean what graphics are played on the video what music i didn't show you that one but um mm. you can actually go let me just quickly do it if i go edit again i can of course always change it and you see here under music yep. you can go and click music and you can choose any music you can hit the play button and then it plays the music back also so yep. you can choose which one but yeah just another hopefully idea for you to um, play around with. But yeah, those were the main main things I wanted to cover today. So definitely follow up with me on the, I'm going to email you um, just with the recording and some resources with highlights, maybe some things players can do to cut up their own clips so you can provide them with a resource. And then, yeah, yeah if you let me know if you come across any case where uh, you've cut up the, you've made and identified the unknown and they're still not transferring onto the video and then we can dig into that and then uh, if you can i'll put in the email but yeah if you can put the rugby coach's contact then i'll just reach out to see when he's available but um yeah hopefully you found this um yeah insightful and have picked up a few things and then yeah any final questions before we wrap up anything you were wanting to um, yeah uh, just... sort of know yeah, I just got two things. Um, one is, I know that sometimes my students, because after they finish junior college, they'll be going overseas to universities. And sometimes sure. maybe they want to compile like a highlight reel of mm. their plays uh, to send to the coaches and things like that. So when they do this on Huddle, are they able to download a video of their highlights? Yeah, so if I, if I go highlights and then I go team, and then I go, wow, one got a lot of views. God, I think this player did a lot of viewing, so I'm going to choose yeah. her. Um, so what she, so these are just the pre-made ones. She can do her own highlights, and I'm going to give you a resource on how she can cut up her, her own highlights. I think that's yeah. quite a cool, cool benefit. Downloading, I don't think so, but yeah. what you would do is you would go share video, you'd go link, Yep. And then in the email that she sends out to the prospective um, team or school, she would yep. say, hey, um, you can access my highlights package here. Boom. Yep. So that would be the steps. I think you can order them, but there's something about them only being restricted to ordering in the US. Um, yep. But I'd say this is the best workaround for yourself. Um, you can just, yeah, click link and then um, anything that is, yeah, if, as long as it's not private, like yours, yep. I don't believe are private. Um, is that yeah, create a nice highlights package. Um, you can even yeah sit down with them or within the school if you've got uh, yeah the capacity. 
had yeah sit down with those uh, specific athletes who are interested to create the highlights package and then yeah maybe have someone help out with some slides to make it look professional and design and then have a yeah nice highlights package which they can yeah sent off on their way and they can share with whoever they'd like to um that's yeah, yeah. that sounds awesome um, but yeah go with the link so Joshua, I I didn't know that there's also highlights for the individual players. So just now we went to the team, ah. you went to the individual player. So yeah. actually there's highlights churn out for every individual player. It looks like it looks like it to be honest. Um so if yeah. I go highlights and then let's choose another athlete, let's go with this one. Um oh, yeah. There. yeah, how are there? Sorry, highlights, yeah. And then you've got the game she played. 22 oh. seconds, two okay. steals. Okay. Okay, okay. Quite nice, so this, actually, yeah. This is automated. This one is... Yeah, all automated. There. So it okay. looks at... I think how it works is it looks at, I guess, there's certain metrics that are seen as positive and yeah. it looks at the certain player and then it just does it. Like, this one was just, um, yeah, the two steals. Okay. And then, see, okay. it gives, like, a little stats. Yeah. Uh, report. So, yeah, a little Spoke scorecard. Key. So, yeah. Um, all I did was I went under... This is your highlights here for yes. team. And then you actually click on team. Yep. And then you can see, you can click on the player. Yep. And then you go under their highlights. And like this. So like this one looks like maybe even the player cut it up themselves and sent it to highlights. Because those don't have the uh, graphics on. So yeah, I'd say, um, yeah, hopefully it's something that you guys can do. I'm going to give you a link which shows how to create premium highlights. And there's also one for huddle for athletes. So yeah, yep. hopefully those are helpful. And again, of course, if you have any questions, if you wanted me to run another session with the athletes to cut up highlights, anything like that, just let me know. I'm okay. more than happy to help. But yeah, seems pretty good. And I know you had one more question. So Yeah. Uh, the other one was, I mean, I raised this up before with, uh, I can't remember what the guy's name that I met. Uh, a few years ago when I started Huddle, but yeah, I also followed this with Yella, uh, mm. which was whenever we upload the videos for Huddle Assist, I was wondering whether w could we also upload a snapshot or photo of the score sheet uh, because every game there's an official score sheet done by the referees and all, right? So I thought mm. that would help actually in, uh, in terms of the accuracy of the data that's been kept, captured. Yeah. So yeah. let me just have a look at something. I wanna. Is there no option to attach file? No, anything? there's no there's no okay. option for attach file, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that would be really helpful. A good one. Yeah. Yeah. I think so as well. Um. So if I just I won't put it through, of course, but yep. I'll send to assist. No, da, 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 nothing here. Yeah. Can't drag and drop or anything, right? You must nope. have tried. Yeah. That's wrong. Um, let me look and see. I, this is probably the answer you've got from the others as well. So it's yeah. not, not that helpful. But I'll have a look on our feature request side of things and just see if... I think what might... It's, it's definitely beneficial. I see so. I'd say so. And I'd say it help with accuracy. So I don't know the reason. Maybe it's just never been built in. But let me have a look and see if there's any... I can just put the log it as a ticket to say... Um, there's a request to be able to upload a score sheet so that you can refer back like our analysts. It's helping us at the end of the day and it's helping you guys to get more accurate stats. So um, yeah. maybe they're just, I mean, the flip side of it, maybe they think, oh, then it's, what if their stat was wrong? Or at least it's on the right, you'll be on the right course, but maybe mm. there's certain elements why they've never introduced that. But I can just have a look and see if it's there um, and yeah. give them the option. Um, because I think it, it helps but in accountability. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, not an easy direct, I'll just do this. But yeah. um, at least, yeah, I'll definitely make sure that it's um, yeah, logged or at least been put somewhere uh, put forward. Yeah. I'm sure someone might have requested in the past. So I can like the Instagram one. I will have a look and I'll just link it to that ticket. So um, anyway, th 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 these are great suggestions. This is why I really enjoy the... So um, implementation side and catching up with you guys because we learn a lot. You guys are mm -hmm. using the product firsthand. So we definitely hear about areas where are certain pain points or um, areas for improvement. And that's always yeah, very beneficial for us. So no, I appreciate that. Thank you for yep. that suggestions. No problems. Yeah, cool. So um, what I can do is I'll, yeah, 
get the recording cut up and I'll send through some resource links and then yeah just keep keep me posted on how everything goes if you have a play around with the clips and you have any questions on that or if your athletes start cutting up playlists and uh, need yeah some more direction I can definitely yeah lend a helping hand on terms of providing some support but um, yeah one last question, Joshua. Uh, mm, okay, sure. I haven't tried this feature because when I first signed up with Huddle, then uh, COVID happened. But okay. uh, let, let's say in the midst of a competition, uh, mm. if I want to scout these two other teams, so I upload a mm. video of two other teams playing, the process is still all the same, right? I just need to put in the, I guess, the team lineup because this one, I don't have the teams. Um, yeah. Uh, kind of thing, right? So you, you see here, what yeah. you would do is you go scout, yeah. but then you see this. It says your assist oh. package only allows game footage to be sent to assist uh, by an additional uh, credit to send scout. So I think um, okay, okay, okay. the scout scouting assist is this extra. It's an mm. um, okay. added element where, yeah, because if you went under game, it's going to yeah. take your team roster team. and it yes. makes it all very bad, confusing. So yep. it's possible. Teams do send scout footage, but yep. it's a... I think it's an package. extra sort of separate package, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. But then what I would suggest is, I know you mentioned that it looks like you can just buy a scout credit. So if there's mm. only two or three games that you think yep. you want to do scout um, and you got access to the footage, yep. just let Yella know. Um, and then what she can do is, again, she'll just dig into it. I'm not sure if it is possible, but I'm pretty sure you can just buy a scout assist credit and it'll show up here. And then okay. you'd be able to, um, yeah, send that game off. So and then if you sent it off a scout and it worked, it will just be the same process. You would just take their roster, um, the opponents, I guess the two teams' rosters, and then you just put the. I don't even know if you have to put the roster. Maybe our team, you know, they just look at the jersey number. So maybe you just put the team colors and then the okay. final score or something like that, um, okay. and it will send it off. But it's possible. It's definitely possible. But. I think, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't come with the package you currently have, but I think it's if you do go down the route of buying scout credits, I think that's possible. But yeah, follow up a yellow on it. She'll know more on it. Okay. Um, but no, great, great question. So, no, cool. Um, yeah, very happy and yeah, pleased to meet you. Um, and yeah, thank you for coming along for the session today. It was, it was great. So I'll cut up this and yeah, send it over. And of course, yeah, any questions in the future, um, feel free to let me know. And yeah, who knows? Maybe this time next year or mid next year, I might be in Singapore. I'll reach out and see if you wanted to catch up. Thanks, thanks. I mean, hopefully also, I mean, I, I, we also have a partner school in uh, Auckland. Uh, hey, I mean, sometimes really? our teachers do go down as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, Where, so our partner based? school, uh, it's uh, Rosmi. High school. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's on the North Shore. Yeah, North Shore. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Rosmini College. I have some friends from yeah. university who studied in Rosmini College. So, yeah, good. Good school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where are you? Where's your college? Um, I mean, the school. Where's it based? Uh, it's based at Bichon. So, okay. some central Singapore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not very familiar with the area. But I, um, I stayed in East Coast park uh, around that area my aunt lived there my dad all grew up around that area so um, yeah i love it there it's a, it was very fun spending the six weeks there but hopefully yeah we'll be there very soon uh, okay. oh that's interesting to hear you have a school partner school here in auckland yep. who knows you might be in auckland one day also <laughs> hopefully we'll yeah you've been here. before to new zealand or no yeah 10 years ago okay wow yeah. oh, well overdue due for yep. a trip to new zealand soon <laughs> yeah uh, cool. No worries. No, nice to meet you again, Carlson. And yeah, have a good rest of your day. And yeah, we'll keep in touch. Thanks, Joshua. Cool. Thank you. See ya. Good holidays. See uh, ya. Yeah, thank you. Likewise. Bye.